Welcome back to MathSpark. In this video, we're going to talk about another feature of the tablet PC, the program Windows Journal. Journal is nothing more than a digital pad of paper with a digital pen, which makes it ideal for taking notes and doing your homework. It's a very simple, straightforward interface, a page of paper that you can write on. The trickiest part of Journal is simply getting the program running. So to get it set up, let's go back to our computer and go down to the Start menu and let us search for Journal. When Journal shows up, let's right-click on it rather than launching it and pin this to this taskbar just like we did with the maple leaf. As you can see, a small journal icon has appeared in the taskbar along the bottom. When we click on it, a Windows Journal note file appears and all the journal's note is is its digital paper with a digital pen. And so you can start to write on it any which way you'd like. Hello world. And do whatever you would like to do with it. You can select from a number of different pens. I have a fine chisel, fine point, very fine point, medium point, and a marker. So for example, the fine point pen is exactly what you would expect. It's a thinner line. Whereas the marker, let's go up here and select the marker, would be much, much larger. Yo. You also have a highlighter option, which will allow you to, well, do exactly what you think. Highlight certain parts of your notes as, you, as need be. There's also an eraser, and the eraser comes in two different flavors. There's a sized eraser, which will allow you to erase small portions. There's also a stroke eraser, which will allow you to erase entire strokes of the pen, which can be kind of convenient. I actually keep it on stroke eraser all of the time. There's also a lasso feature. The lasso feature allows you to select anything you've written so that you can grab it and perhaps move it to someplace else, which can be handy if you have to add extra notes to a piece of paper. Now, it seems like I don't have an awful lot of color choices here. If I go under the View menu, there's a number of toolbars. The standard and the pen are typically the ones that are selected. I also like to have the format one selected as well. The format one gives you new pen colors. So for example, I can go back to my pen, I'll go to my marker, but now I can change it to be red. And so I can go and write down things in red. For example, the fundamental theorem of calculus for those of you who are going to be taking Calc 1. Of course, that word thinner is in the way, so maybe I'll erase the word thinner. And with a stroke eraser, it's pretty quick. And then I want to go and maybe move my fundamental theorem of calculus over to the side so that I can actually label it as the fundamental theorem. And I'll label it in orange. So, and I can write fundamental theorem of calculus. I know it's exciting watching me write things down. Another nice feature is this add or remove space. Adding or removing space by clicking and dragging allows you to add extra lines of space so that, for example, you could go and put a picture in on the flip side I can use this to remove space as well and say bring everything up two lines without having to say select and move things around. As you fill up the note you may need an extra piece of paper, and that's easy to do. We just go down here and select the new page, and a second sheet of paper will appear after the first. It takes a little bit of practice to write well with the stylus, and I will be honest with you, I'm writing on a vertical screen, which is why my letters look so terrible. When you're done with your note for the day or the lecture, you can go and save it. So I'm going to save mine in whatever folder you'd like. I'm going to put it on the desktop under a new fol folder, which I'm going to call Calc 1 temporarily. So I will put it into Calc 1 and say I'm just going to call this my intro note, however you'd like to label these. And now it's been saved, and we're good to go. So I can close this, and if I go into my Calc 1 folder, there's my introductory note, and I'm back to the paper I had before. Let's imagine I had more notes in this folder right now, just to give some idea of what we can do with Journal. So I have notes on the gradient, hooray. And I have notes on directional derivatives, hooray. And surfaces part two. So I have a whole bunch of different notes and perhaps as a semester goes on, you're gonna have many, many notes and many, many 
homework assignments. One of the nice features about Windows Journal is that you can search through your notes for certain sorts of phrases. So, for example, suppose I wanted to find which of my notes talked about a saddle surface. Say that's something that was discussed in my class. Rather than search through all of my notes to see if I can find where that came up, I could launch a new journal note, select file, and search. The search will tell me what phrase I'd like to look for. So for example, I'll look for the phrase saddle for saddle surface, and I can tell it what folder I'd like to search in. So for example, my Calc 1 folder on the desktop. So if I ask it to find, it comes up with three different sets of notes. There's a note on constrained extrema. And if I click on that one, it misinterpreted the word whole as saddle. So that's actually not quite what my note is. I could do testing extrema in 2D. And here would be one of my notes that actually has a saddle surface. So I was able to find one of my notes in which a saddle appears. I could also try surfaces in R3. And here's where the saddle is. And these are the notes I was thinking. This is when I learned about a saddle. So by closing this X, I've actually loaded that particular note file, as you can see up at the top. So this is actually a pretty nice way of being able to find specific instances of words or phrases in your notes. One other nifty feature of Journal is something called the Journal Note Writer. To make sure that the Journal Note Writer is active, go under the Tools menu and select Install or Repair the Journal Note Writer. A dialog window will pop up and ask you to install this, and so select Yes, Install. The Journal Note Writer has been installed. The Journal Note Writer is actually not a part of Journal itself. It's a printer driver that allows you to take files and turn them into journal notes. For example, suppose someone sends you a PDF copy of the Declaration of Independence. Like most PDF files, I can't draw on it with my stylus, and I can't type on it like I could a Word file. PDF files are, for all intents and purposes, unalterable. However, imagine I were going to print this. So I'll select Print. I'll go to my Printing Options. I may have lots and lots of different printers here, but one of the printers you should have access to is something called the Journal Note Writer. Remember that Journal is nothing more than digital paper. So instead of printing this file out to wood pulp paper, I'm going to print it to digital paper. So I will select Print to the Journal Note Writer. And a dialog box will pop up asking me where I'd like to save this. So I'm going to save this on my desktop as the declaration. Now, if I were to close this PDF file and look on my desktop, I'll find that there's a note called declaration. When I open it, I get a printed version of that declaration of independence. But now, it's a journal file, so I can do things like highlight important aspects of it, the laws of nature and nature's god. I could go and add commentary. For example, this portion right here is known as the preamble. And work with it like I would any other piece of digital paper, which I can then save and then send to somebody else for their own markup. Windows Journal is very similar to another program called Microsoft OneNote. And some of you might actually learn about OneNote during the student orientation sections. But I wanted to give you some idea about Windows Journal. It's a nice, very intuitive, easy to use program that's ideal for taking notes and ideal for searching through your notes and your homework problems after the fact. So thank you, you guys, for listening to these videos. I hope that you've been able to get some use out of them and that they're going to help you succeed in this first semester as hard rockers here at the School of Minds and Technology. I don't have any videos lined up for the next time around, but if you have any requests, feel free to send them through the Grubby MathSpark website. Once again, thank you and good luck this year.